going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at it again with another co-part walk around over here at the Moore Sublot. Look who we got with us today. We got oh, oh, oh. Michael from Santa's Workshop. Thank you for coming out today. Hey, you bet. We got a lot of cars to look at today. Yeah, you got to go check out his channel. Have you told anybody about the new surprise you got in your shop? Actually, uh, video drops today. Today. Okay, so this video will come out... Well, this video is going to come out in a few days. Okay, well... So, well um what is today today's monday monday the the monday the <laughs> monday the 16th okay monday the 16th okay so if you haven't seen his videos you need to go check him out he's got a, you got a lot going on a new project new, new project 55 chevy truck called the double nickel uh we're doing a ground up on it i've got my 53 chevy the jolly hauler we're doing a ground up on it and with a new toy in the shop as soon as I get the money, we're doing some upgrades on the Mustang. Okay, and that one is uh, uh, Night Rider. Midnight Express. Close. Night Rider. Night. <laughs> it ain't no Pontiac. <laughs> that was GM's biggest mistake is killing off Pontiac. Yes. You literally just told me that. Yes. Speaking of Pontiacs, you, know, you can't see it really, but way, way out there in the distance is a 53 Pontiac Chieftain. Yep. Yeah, you'll have to wait for a video on that this weekend. But go check out Santa's Workshop. I'm going to have a link down below. Just click the link. Go over there. Subscribe to the channel. He's out here helping me out today. And number one on the list is going to be a 2013 Mazda CX-9 Sport. I actually really like the CX-9. I always have. And this is a hail car. And the hail honestly isn't... It's not nearly as bad as some of the cars we've seen out here. I don't know how well it's going to come out on camera. But the hail dings are really not bad on this one. She's got good tires, 112,000 miles, so it's relatively low miles. Now the the roof, the roof is pretty bad. The hood is not that bad, but the roof, sail panel. Oh well, okay. Back glass got it nailed. She's missing window. I I know a guy though. I know a glass guy, man. And this is the all-wheel drive too. And she may have got a little wet inside. We've had some storms out here. And the decal of this snake is free. Uh, whatever that is. I'm not sure if that's a snake or a little happy demon. or. Oh, you don't know who that is? I have no that's, idea. That's the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. Is that what that is? That's what that is. Okay. Now it makes sense. All right. <laughs> Let's try not to hit this car here. Okay. Yeah, she, she's got glass everywhere back there. So you need a you need a good vacuum cleaner. A good shop vac will suck that stuff up like it's nothing. And I got a glass guy that have no issue at all uh, putting another window back there, probably for two hundred bucks or less. Looks there. like they had a pet. Yeah, it was a family hauler. There's actually a lot of room back there. It's got third row seats that are folded into the floor. She's dirty. She's real real dirty. And there is a lot of. A lot, a lot of dog hair back here. And I guarantee it's dead. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Hold on. Maybe wrong. Is this push to start? No. No, not in 2013 it wasn't. They still had keys back then. Fires right up. Wow. Do we have any, uh, any warning lights? We have traction control. Either that or somebody has it turned off. Let's push the button. Nope, it's definitely got a an issue with the traction control. Aside from that, though, look, we got a we got a nice little radio. Goes right into gear. No backup camera. No, no backup camera. Yeah, it goes right into gear both directions. You know, we got to check the air condition. I, that's the only thing I, I care about the AC more than I care about anything else. <laughs> AC's got to work. And what about the important window? Oh yeah, this thing is uh, this thing's in great shape. That window over there worked too. Yep. Yeah, she's in good shape. Let's pop the hood real quick. See what she's working with under the hood here. Uh, Iron Man. These these tires are becoming very very popular. People used to make fun of the Iron Man tire. <laughs> Do not buy Iron Man. I'm sorry, but. Well, I know they're cheap. Listen to that. Jeez. 
she's nice and quiet. Wow. Looks like somebody's added some accessories here. I wonder what this is. I wonder what all that's going to. Looks like it goes, well, it goes down to a wiring harness down there. That's not factory, I can tell you that. I didn't see a radio or anything in here either. So, I don't see any uh, auxiliary switches or anything like that. Maybe it's a cooling fan thing or something. By the way, the AC is ice cold. Very, very cold. Hell, I should buy this. I should buy this. I should buy this for Jessica. I've been on the lookout for something for her. She wants something that she can just throw the dog in without me complaining. And the dog's not going in the Hellcat. <laughs> and I let the dog in the truck, but I gotta put a blanket down for her, for her and everything because I don't want the truck covered in dog hair. This would be perfect. It's not a, uh, it's not that bad. But she told me the other day, she's like, don't bother buying me a car. She's like, I don't need one. We've got two cars. We don't need another one. So if I bought this, I would probably just buy it, drive it around for a little bit, turn around and sell it. So I don't know if it goes cheap enough, maybe you'll see it on the channel. And if not, then yeah, we'll find something else. I still wonder what the heck that is. They've got run into that. Yep, and the wire runs down there somewhere, kind of out of sight. Trailer tow. Oh, it's got a tow hitch. I didn't even see that really with this. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah there's your seven pin. <laughs> yep. Look at that. That's cute. I mean, it is all wheel drive. So, I mean, at least you'd have traction. Yeah, that's a big hitch, too. Yeah? That's wild. Okay, so that almost makes me not want to buy it. Because <laughs> I can tell you, this thing was never designed with towing in mind. Um, <laughs> this thing probably is a... She's probably... She's probably put some work in. Oh. Oh, yep, yep. Hale got the mirror, too, guys. Gonna need a mirror glass. The mirror cap on the other side is gone as well. Yeah, it is It is a little rough, but honestly, compared to a lot of the hail cars we've seen out here, this one is really not that bad. It's not that bad. The mileage is right on it. Good tires, even though they're cheap tires. It's got a good set of tires on it. This one would be a, this is a great family car right here. Great family car. I should be getting paid to sell these. Yeah. I really should. Yeah. People are like, you sound like a salesman. Well, I, believe me, I don't get paid to sell these guys. I wish I did. I wish I did. I could make a lot more money if I was getting paid to, pro yeah. <laughs> to promote these cars, but I'm not. All I do, guys, I come out here and I look for things that I would buy. All right. And that's the God's honest truth. I look for cars that I myself would purchase and then I bring them to you guys. And if you guys bid on them, then you bid on them. You know what I mean? Uh, and if you don't, you don't. It doesn't matter. But you know what? We're done with this one. We're going to move on to the next one, which is sitting right beside it. Next on my list is a 2020 Subaru Forester. It's practically new. I don't see the mileage written on it, but it's 2020. It can't have that many miles, right? 17, oh, okay. There it is. 17,743 miles. And, you know, I'm sure you guys can see. I don't even think I really have to, like, pan over very much, right? You can... You can see all that, right? Windshields busted. It's destroyed, guys. This one is bad. Well, see, it's got that golf ball texture. That way it gets better fuel mileage. <laughs> yeah, better fuel economy. It's air, it's more aerodynamic That's that right. way. Yeah, the, the wind catches those divots and just carries you, you know, along as long as you're going the right direction anyway. It's all-wheel drive, just like the Mazda over here. The back window is busted out, just like the Mazda over here. There's a lot of similarities. The driver's side's destroyed, just like the Mazda. These things may have been sitting next to each other. They really... No, because the Mazda isn't nearly as bad as this. This does not have Iron Man tires. This has Ecopias. The passenger side looks great. It really does. The passenger side looks really, really good. Very low miles, guys. This is This is like... I know she's not pretty, she's not going to win any beauty contest, but this is a nice, almost new vehicle, and, and I can promise you because of how bad the damage is, you, you could get this for a heck of a discount from what you'd be paying retail from a dealership with a clean title. 
This one smells, it's all right. I used to do a smell -a meter thing where I would rank it like from 10 being the worst smell imaginable to one being like, well, I could think of some things that fall into the category of one, but they're not fr uh, family friendly. It's got that new car hint to it. Yes. And then a smell of like maybe cat pee. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, this is an interesting smell, guys. It really does. It does have, it does have a, a smell of, of the new car smell, but. There's a there's a whole other scent in this thing, and I, I I'm not sure what um, I think of it. I wonder what's in the bag on the dash. On the those bags are personal property ah. that belong to the previous owner, and if they come and get it, then they come get it. If not, uh, then whoever buys. Yeah, I guess it goes to whoever buys the car. I I would imagine. Oh look, it's your boxer engine. Typical Subaru. I expected to see a V6 under the hood. I'm kidding. I knew there was no V6 under the hood. Yeah, this is clean. I'm going to get my jump pack out. First car of the day requiring a boost. We'll throw a boost on this bad boy. We'll fire it up. You know it's going to run. I mean, it's got 13,000 miles. There's, there shouldn't be anything wrong with this thing at all. Nothing. She should fire right up. And, uh, 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 there we go. That was really hard. Did we turn it on before we pick it up? It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. Unless the battery is really, 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 really dead, then it might, uh, yeah, so it's going to complain. So then you got to hold down the red button for a while. And bingo. Now she's ready to go. Ooh. I hear things clicking. Look, we got lights. She's got power. Mo power, baby. Mo power. Oh, we got radio. We got to turn that off before I get in trouble. Let's turn that off. It says eyesight disabled. What is eyesight? I've never seen that before. Somebody's got to comment below and tell me what eyesight is. This must be a Subaru thing. I've never heard of uh, I've never heard of eyesight before. We got lots of flies in here. Maybe it's because the hood is open. Yeah, I don't know what eyesight is. I have no clue. Anyway, let's check if the important window works. With 13,000 miles or 17,000 miles, it better. Yeah, window works. And of course, this is gonna be all wheel drive. You know, I mean, it is a Subaru. Boy, she runs very, very nicely. She really does. Right into gear. We got a backup cam, of course, because it's a 2020. Let's put it in drive. Right into gear. Guys, uh, 17,743 miles. Like, you shouldn't have anything to worry about with this. Nothing at all. Oh, the AC's not even on. I was like, well, the AC's not getting cold. Hold on, here it goes. And you got that stupid auto start. Auto on, auto off. I hate that. I hate the cars that shut themselves off. Huh. Yeah, my Jeep had, it's so annoying. Every time you come to a stop at a stoplight or a stop sign, the engine shuts off. You know, working on cars for as long as I have, to me, that would make no sense because all that does is wear out your starter. Well, of course. And, that mean, requires you to go to the dealer and pay money for a new one, right? <clears throat> Let's not talk about that. Yeah. yeah, so they installed this little button. All, almost all new cars have it almost every new car has it, unless it's like a diesel truck. They don't have it because you're not gonna be auto starting and stopping a diesel. They're designed to idle, but new cars, they say it's for fuel economy. So it's to save you money in fuel. But I'm just wondering, how much money does it save you in fuel the first time you gotta go to the dealership and pay for a new starter? What is that, makeup? Makeup. I'm taking that home to Jessica. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, she would, she would, uh, she would slap me if I brought her some used makeup home. Oh, wait, it ain't no, used. That's brand new. That is brand new. new. So I could take that. I'm kidding. I'm not. I don't take anything out of here. <laughs> I don't. I don't know anything about makeup. That might be expensive makeup. I don't know. Under the seat too. Oh, yep. is with some menthols. Maybe that's the smell we were smelling. Makeup and menthols. Oh, 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 man. Dang. And what do we got? There's something else under here. I'll bet it's bubble gum. Cigarettes, makeup, and bubble gum. Scent stone. This is the smell. 
This is new car. <laughs> That's the new car scent. <laughs> it's the new car scent. It must be generic new car scent. It's not quite right. <laughs> right. That. I I I I said there was something off. I said it's between new car scent and cat pee, and there it is. It's it's the generic new car scent. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, I'm here to tell you, uh, this this one, I don't know, if I had to choose between the Subaru or the Mazda, I mean, obviously, the Subaru is a lot newer. It's going to be a lot nicer. It's probably got a lot more miles left on it than the Mazda does, but I think the price difference between these two is going to be significant. So, for me, I'd probably just jump on the Mazda. I would take the Mazda because this one, man, it's 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 practically a new car. It's And the hail damage is way, way way worse on this one than it is on that one i uh, all day long and you know what the mazda is bigger the mazda is bigger yeah i if it, if, it, if i was going to buy one of these today and i was torn between the two yeah i'd take the mazda all day long guys i would this is nice this is really nice but it, it would be the mazda for me but you can't tow with it uh, uh, that there you go. See, and the Mazda's already got the tow package. You got. No, I'm surprised it doesn't have an. Uh, uh, what is that? The the big round was that an eight pin? Uh, seven pin. Seven pin is the round one. Okay, so they're both seven pins. No, that's a four pin. That's a four. Yeah, that's. Uh, it's right. Morning. Yeah, yeah. It's it, believe it or not, guys. I know the sun's out, but it's it's actually this is probably the earliest I've ever been to co part in my life. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. We got uh, we got some good stuff coming up. If you guys don't like the uh, if you guys don't like the SUVs, the soccer mom and soccer dad vehicles, not to worry. I got some sports cars for you folks. I think they may be coming up next. Next on my list, I believe this is a 2007 Corvette. 2009, sorry, 2009. She's missing her engine cover there. Everything under here looks pretty much stock. I think, if I remember right, this is a low miles one. This one's like 70,000 miles or 79,000 miles. If you look at it from this side, it looks really good. The other, th the other side, things start getting a little bit sketchy. Oh, airbag is deployed that I didn't see. Somebody, and I hate when people do this, people will come out here and start wandering around the yard and they will cut holes in the plastic so they can put their hands in here and try to open the car or reach something and because they need to get in here so badly they destroy this and leave it that way and then when you get a rainstorm you end up with the hole inside of the car soaking wet yeah i love it i i never do that there have been rare occasions if i'm actually really interested in buying a car i will pull this back but as soon as I'm done, man, I slap it back down and it's good to go for the next guy. You know what I mean? But 1320 video grocery getter. Okay. Yeah, that's a hell of a grocery getter right there, man. I'm a little, uh, I'm a little torn on this one because Jessica used to have a, a Corvette. Well, I used to have a Corvette, but Jessica kind of took it over and I ended up going and buying something else. And it was this generation. This is the C6 Corvette. We named her Shelly. She was red. And this car at first glance doesn't need much. It's like, you know, this, this quarter panel back here just bolts on and off, okay? So no big deal. You can see the bumper is still good. It's still got the, the, the studs, so you can bolt it back to the quarter panel. So you're going to have to source a quarter panel. No big deal. You look under here, and you make sure all the tabs and everything back here, you see where, you, where it bolts on. It's all still here, so you could fit another quarter on here. None of this is damaged back here at all. Okay, this is all in good, solid shape. Then you move over to the door. You got a little scrape on the door there, but who cares? It's not a crack, <laughs> even if it was. If you guys remember my red Corvette, my red C6, I backed into it with my 350Z. Ouch. And I destroyed my door pretty, pretty good. And I still drove around like that, and it didn't really affect anything. Where you start getting into to money is when you get into these pieces right here, right? You come over here and you take a look, and you can see it, uh, that's broken. Now, the good thing is this could be fixed. This, this is not structural, okay? Your headlight sits in here, but aside from that, this isn't that big of a deal. This could be fixed. So you don't even have to have to replace that. It's a little damaged under there too. 
that's not the end of the world though. Uh, you also notice the tires are flat on this side. That's That I think is a little more concerning. When we see the chunk taken out of this wheel right here. Um, yeah, there's gonna be, there's gonna be some suspension issues. I can promise you that. Looks like this side, uh, both wheels took a nasty hit, maybe popped a curb or ran over a parking block or who knows, but you're gonna need two wheels. You're gonna need two tires. You're gonna need a quarter panel. You're gonna need the fender for this side. But the next thing I notice is all this mangled mess down here underneath it. And that's where I start thinking, maybe this one's not the one for me. Um, if you look at this side, this is what it's supposed to look like. All right, you come over here and look at this side. This is supposed to be this way. And wrapped around underneath, this is all mangled and just torn up. Um, but... The main frame looks good. Yeah. Yeah, the frame rail looks good. Uh, the radiator is all out of sorts. There's some electrical boxes that fell out from the engine bay that are dragging the ground. The condenser is all mangled as well. So they ended up going over something that tore up some of the undercarriage. And I think that's my biggest concern is this car sits so low to the ground, you can't really get underneath it enough to see how much under here got damaged. She still got oil? Still has still oil. Still got oil. And that is dirty. Ah, so it was a car somebody didn't take care of, too. Well, it'd be nice to get in here because I this is one like I'm not I'm not messing around. I am interested in bidding on this. But I cannot bid on a car that I haven't seen. So I'm gonna very gently remove this plastic. And as you'll see when I'm done, I will be putting the plastic back. Okay. <laughs> Put it back in this way, you don't rip a hole in it. Okay, well, I'm tearing it up a little bit here, so I'm going to have to be a little more careful. Yeah, it is listed as a run and drive, but peel it back some, and I will put this back when I'm done. I'm not going to bore you guys with any more of the details. We'll come back to it here in just a second. All right, well, we carefully remove the plastic. And we will carefully re it. Ooh, it's a stick. <laughs> oh. Well, it just went up. <laughs> it's a stick. Oh, man. Yeah, they were prepping that door to remove it. The panels are off of it. Yep. And I'll bet the glass is out of it, too. Yep, there's the glass right there. There's the door panel. And there's the mirror. And there's the tail lights. And the mirror, so it's got a lot of parts with it. The airbag isn't that big of a deal. This is an old car, guys. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Uh, let's go ahead and fire it up. Um. Hooker exhaust, okay. The way it fired up sounded like it was cammed, man. Just. I really like this. Somebody put halos around the tail lights. Yep. So you turn on the lights and we should have some halos there. Yeah. And 
there's the wiring for the halos. Yeah, yeah, the exhaust pipes are definitely a little off. I was worried they ran straight over something. Yeah. And it looks like they did. I thought at first they ripped the tailpipe off. Look how quiet it is up here. <laughs> the difference between right here and right back there is it's insane. It is super quiet. I, I don't see any leaks. Aftermarket headers. It might be. Yeah, those are aftermarket. Those are long tubes. Yeah, those are long tubes. I'm pretty sure Factor uses a shorty yeah. design. Okay, so somebody's put a little bit of money into it. I did not see a coolant light come on. I also don't see the coolant bottle. Um, I'm oh, right there in front of it. Is it right in front? It's right in front of it. Does it have coolant in it? I don't see any. No. I don't see any either, so we don't want to let this run. Ugh. Change engine oil. Yeah. You know what? The window doesn't work over here. I wonder if it's because the other door panel is disconnected. It may be. It may be, may be connected. All right, let's shut her down. The coolant light just came on. So... It still had coolant in it, just not much. Now that was a surprise when that thing fired up. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah, <laughs> I, I was shocked as well. Um, yes, the key is still in it. We know. I don't know, guys. <sighs> like I really like this one, I do. But as Michael pointed out, one of the concerning things and. It's not necessarily a deal breaker, but the exhaust on this side is definitely, that's a good inch and a half or so uh, recessed further back than the exhaust on the left here. That definitely concerns me because my biggest, my biggest concern with this car is not the damage that you can see. This is no big deal. Okay, it's a quarter panel and a fender and a headlight. That's that's easy. Suspension damage, again, not overly concerned with it. It's going to need a little bit of suspension work and an alignment, a couple wheels and a couple tires. That can be dealt with. The problem I have is this twisted up stuff underneath here. We got the radiator and the condenser all busted up and hanging. There's a some kind of a big computer module laying on the ground underneath the radiator. Oh. Um, so I think not only did the suspension in that side take a hit, but I think... If you got this up on the lift, you would probably find that there is more damage under here all the way back. I don't know. I don't know. This this one I feel is a little bit more risky, but I am definitely seriously interested in bidding on this car. And right now the bid's at like $3,500. $3,500. There's more than $3,500 worth of parts on this car. I didn't even check the mileage. Oh well. I'm pretty certain the mileage on this is around 74,000 miles, guys. So comment below, tell me what you think of the 2009 Corvette. Is this something we should jump on on the channel or is this something you think we should avoid like the plague? Moving on to the next one, which is coincidentally right, right next to it, another Corvette. Next, a 93 Chevy Corvette. It looks too good to be true, right? Oh, it is, I promise you, it is. Look at these beautiful chrome wheels. It's a 40th anniversary. Se okay, maybe this one is the one with 70,000 miles because this one literally has 70,000 miles on it. This is beautiful. This is beautiful, but like I said, yeah, it's here for a reason, guys. It's here for a reason. She took uh, a hit to the back over here on the passenger side. I don't know how bad it is. That's not that bad. Look horrendous. It needs another uh, another little rear clip here, and this is this is taking some damage as well. But fiberglass it's fiberglass, guys. So a lot of this stuff can just be patched up, put a new back end on it. The question is, is did it take any damage this to the been patch before already? Yes, it has. So patching it again ain't gonna hurt nothing. <laughs> See? And whoever patched it before didn't do it right. Just when you can peel it off like that, that ain't good. Yeah. 
Yeah, they did a bad job on that. I don't know, everything back here looks, uh, everything actually looks pretty decent back here. Honestly, this doesn't look bad at all. This doesn't, I thought it was gonna be worse. See, the silver one, I thought was gonna be better than it actually was. This one I thought was gonna be worse than it actually is. Yeah, yeah, this one's not bad, guys. This one's actually in pretty dang good shape. I would, uh, you know, if I had to pick between the two Corvettes right now, it'd be this one. Honestly, it'd be this one. I wonder what this one sounds like. Does it have power? Will it start? Can we open the hood? Boy, getting into this is so much different than getting into a newer one. Uh, this is rough. <laughs> getting into these is rough. Uh, the difference between a C4 and a C6 is, is significant. Yeah, she's dead. She's also an automatic. Ugh, it's got the ride control suspension. Ooh, we all know those never work. Okay, and it's been a while since I've had one of these. Let me try to climb out here and find the hood popper. There she goes. Your good old LT1 tune port injection. Solid old motor. Um. Okay. It's a double-sided belt? Well, I've never seen that before. Neither have They I. have the belt on backwards, I think. No. no. Oh, it is a double-sided belt. It's double-sided. Because I saw that and I thought, well, that ain't right. Then I saw this pulley and I was like, well, maybe. No, nope, yeah. it's double-sided. A double-sided. I know for most of you that belt looks wrong, but it's it's got grooves on both sides of the belt. <laughs> okay. All right. Well... And somebody's put newer plug wires on here. Uh, with only 70,000 miles on it, that means it shouldn't be due again for quite a while. Hopefully she has oil. Yeah, a little bit. It does. Not too bad looking? Not too awful. I mean, what concerns me is there's chunks of stuff on it. Oh. Oh, we'll just ignore chunks. Chunks on hold the dipsticks. It, hold it, hold it. Uh-oh. Is that metal? Feel of that. It almost feels like metal. I don't think it is. I think it's plastic. Huh. That's, you know, yeah. Yeah, anytime you pull out a dipstick and find chunks on it, could it be part of the dipstick itself? Uh, nah. Don't nah. Think so. Okay. Well, you know that's that's something Ho bright pink trans fluid oh yeah that that is that is pretty. fresh oh yeah that's, that's very good. nice that's, that's good stuff very nice okay well let's throw a you know we got to throw a jump on everything around here so let's put a jump on it well, let's see what she sounds like maybe this one will have a surprising exhaust too all right we heard some fuel pressure i probably had the key on more than likely what do you guys think fires up first try getting into these things is uh oh wow part of it i think is the way this seat is adjusted it's uh it's a little off all right yeah seventy thousand miles here we go oh that was quiet that was real quiet she's not running well she's misfiring Sometimes giving it a little throttle will clear it up. All right, we'll just let her run, man. Let her do her thing. She started out running a little rough, but I think it's cleared up probably from sitting. Important window works, although it looks like somebody chipped the glass there. Oh. Maybe somebody was trying to get in or something. That window works. The convertible top might work. We're not gonna mess with it because of that damage back there. Let's see. You know I gotta notice the air conditioning work. That's like first and foremost, does the AC work? Oh yes, AC works. Very nice. We got seat adjustments. Does the seat work? Yes. Oh, we're going the wrong way. <laughs> uh, touring. Sport and performance. 
I'll tell you what, guys. We got no warning lights, at least not yet. Ooh. Okay, she's got some stiff steering. It is a Corvette, after all. All right. She sounds decent. It's got excellent oil pressure, almost 80 PSI. So she's got good oil pressure. I still got a little bit of a misfire coming. Hear that? There it goes. Yeah. yeah, she's got a misfire. It's coming and going. I give it a little throttle. Yeah, it, it, now it's kind of hard misfiring. Huh. Let's put it in gear. Now it goes in gear backwards. Forward. Yeah, no issue going into gear at all. Lights work. Yep, lights work. They flip up. And they flip down. So this is one you could, uh, if you put some zip ties on, you could drive it home. That's right. That misfire seems to go away as soon as you give it a little throttle. I think it's been sitting for a while. Yeah. Because that tire on the passenger side front's got some dry, uh, drywall or uh, rod on it. Or dry rod. Thank you. Yeah, well, to give you an idea, the oil change, 71, 339, and it's not made it there yet. The date was uh, due December of 17. Well, 11, 13 for your registration in Texas. Yeah. So, yeah. So that oil change sticker was from Shawnee, and that was 2017. So I'm thinking this thing has been sitting since it, it hasn't even reached the oil change interval yet. Right. So she's had to have been sitting at least four years. I and like anything this far. Yeah. I, I would bet money you put some fuel system cleaner in it, throw some fresh 91 octane in it. She'd probably come right back to life. Oh, yeah. I'm tempted on this one. I don't particularly like this car just because the design is the, like the interior is so... It's clunky, it's... But this one, honestly, oh look, the wheel key. <laughs> That's important. Don't lose that. Yeah, a bag of, I don't know, we'll find out, I guess. If we win it, we'll, we'll, we can go through it and find out what's in here. We'll see if the hatch opens. The AC was working, it doesn't seem to be working anymore. No, I don't think it's working anymore. Okay. Well, I don't know what else I could do, man. I've got... Oh, wait. There it goes. There must be an AC button that I'm missing somewhere. I don't know. What about this radio? I don't even know how to turn the dang radio on in this. I, I can't tell you how long it's been since I've seen a factory GM radio with a cassette player in it. And it's a Bose. But honestly, I don't know where the... I don't know how to turn it on. Oh, it is on. It is on, okay. Okay. Okay, well, the radio works. It looks like everything in here works. One free ticket to Shrek the Musical. Oh, Shrek the Musical. I'm wondering, does it have a date on it? Nope. Dang it weird glove box up there very bizarre lots of you know stuff here's a ticket that's a ticket for crystal bridges 516 of 14 so yeah i want to say she's been sitting a few years guys i i kind of like this one i do i mean god getting in and out of it though like i don't know how well you could see this but seriously this is not an enjoyable experience getting in and out of this car i was hoping we'd have some aftermarket exhaust it kind of looks like the exhaust is aftermarket it's got some aftermarket tips on it at least yeah but it's awful is that a tow hitch oh <laughs> you gotta be kidding me man yeah oh yeah you can hear that she's just She's not happy. 
Yeah, whatever it was, and it just ripped this out of out of here, man. Just, yeah. I mean, just ripped it. It's almost like they caught it on they something. They did. They did. Because I mean, look how this. Is yeah. Down. Yeah, they caught this back end on something, man, and just they just ripped it off. I think it could be patched up, though. Uh, look, I do. Right here, Randy. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, they just... They, and it caught right here and just ripped this whole back end out. It's savable, though. It's savable, though. If I could find another one of these, this back bumper in the same color oh. at a junkyard... Dude. Oh, man. Yeah, you put a nice buff and shine on it, you'd never even be able to tell. Nope. Yeah, is there any? Oh. Oh, really? Oh, dude, and there's why it's totaled. Well, that could be fixed, though. I mean. Instead of separating on this end, it actually ripped fiberglass out of here. I knew there was a reason someone put tape on this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they were like, yeah, we'll just cover this up hide and uh, it, hide it. Yeah, what you don't see won't hurt you, right? I'll, I'm still considering this one, guys. So I, I'll tell you what, leave a comment below. God, they really did trash this window. I'm not sure what happened there, but they tore up that window. Somebody's trying to break into it. Yeah. The alternator's charging. That's good. So that's got one good thing going for it. Oh yeah. Both sides there. Yeah. Yeah, she's been sitting a while. Mechanically though, other than a slight misfire, the engine looks great, sounds great. I don't see anything leaking or pouring out, nothing smoking. Chemical tune-up. Yep, chemical tune-up. Let's go fill this air conditioner one more time, make sure I can hear it running so I know it's good. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah, she's got good air. Oil pressure is still around 60 PSI. And no warning lights, nothing. And that window, that window works really well. It's a good working window right there. All right guys, comment below. Tell me what you think of the 40th anniversary C4 Corvette. And for all the Jeep fanatics, how about a 2012 Jeep Wrangler? This thing's actually kind of nice, guys. I'm not gonna lie, this is this is nice. Ballistic wheels, you've got wild peak all terrains. You've got this, you know, kind of roll bar thing with a bunch of little LED lights on the top of it. 84,000 miles, nice running boards. Still got the plastic uh, fender covers or whatever these are called. The uh, dang it, flares. Yeah, very nice tires though. Very, I mean, those tires and wheels are worth a fortune. Yeah, these are probably thirty fives. This is what I had on mine. Yeah, they're thirty five by twelve and a half. That's what I had on my uh, and they're seventeens too. I didn't go with twenty. I went with seventeens on my Jeep. My Jeep used to look like this. Looks the like cover. Yep, got a little Jeep in it. This is a. Uh, well, it, it's pretty nice. Obviously, things are missing over here. So they went through, you could see a lot of scratches from like brush. They went through something. Something scraped all over it. Took out the running board and really took out the fender there. Hmm. I wonder if it's got frame damage down here somewhere. It's got to have some sort of, it. look at the shock. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Yeah? I don't think there's any fluid left in that. Yeah, and <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how on earth they did that one. Something, they must have been turning with the wheel out and backing up. They had, they had to, to. And, and something got in here and destroyed everything. Well, had that shock went up and got the frame, it would have destroyed all those lines. Yeah. Well... Yeah, I don't. I some of the accidents you see out here is just <laughs> you, you look at it, you're just 
it's huh how, how do you even do some of this stuff man the sway bar link is broken uh well where the sway bar bolts onto the front axle that's twisted on the axle itself the axle uh twist oh the axle i think is broken oh the axle <laughs> the axle mount you know where the the uh the mount bolts to the to the jeep yeah well it's broken in half oh yeah i don't know if you guys could see that but it broke right off the axle okay, yeah you're looking at the front spring when you get up look straight down at this front spring uh, it's bowed now look at that way and into look the sway bar at, look at your bottom two here yeah <sighs> they hit something yeah. hard yeah front axle's done yeah this thing's in bad shape this is one of those that it looks i guarantee in pictures and everything this probably doesn't look bad um this is way worse this is this one's in pretty rough shape clean on the inside still got people's uh, stuff there's a cell phone case a hat prescription pills so i'm not going i'm not going to spend too much time messing with this one it's still got a lot of people's stuff in it and sitting in the driver's seat i dang sure don't want to i don't want to be touching on it too much but you know there it is we can pop the hood i think i can i think i can pop the hood oh you popped the. <laughs> how long has it been since i had my jeep because i'm looking for the hood popper jeep. yeah i'm looking for my hood popper Totally forgot that uh, you don't have one of those on a Jeep, man. Oh, wow. It's that oh, it world-renowned 3.6 liter. We called Ooh. our Jeep Zippy because these things really are, well, until you put 35s on them anyway. Oh, wow. I think uh, need some maintenance on the battery cable. Yeah, that, that's that's real bad. That is really, really bad. Yeah, believe it or not, guys, these things get up and go. They really do. Now, like I said, until you put 35s on them. Uh, at that point, they, they become a lot slower and a lot less comfortable to drive. She's decent, though, or was. Uh, is it repairable? Yeah. I, I, I don't think there's frame damage. I don't. I don't think there's frame damage could be wrong but i'm pretty sure th oh wow you know what else we <laughs> you know what else we didn't see what's that oh yeah control arm <laughs> and the uh the drive shaft oh hello yeah they had all those zip tied with us with a metal cable <laughs> yeah i'm gonna say there's there is a lot more damage underneath <laughs> here than what you're thinking now the front bumper is tweaked as well yeah this is it, yeah we'll be avoiding this one <laughs> We'll be avoiding this one like the plague, guys. Let's go find something else. All right, guys. Last on my list, I figured we'd do a little bit of carnage for you. Ram 2500. It says bio back seat. Not to worry. I've already checked it out for you, and I made sure we're not going to get anything on video that, you know, you guys probably don't want to see. But take a look at how this thing bent in half. Michael found it. He saw it sitting over here. And he said, we got to go look at that. And wow. Yeah. I mean, just. That was a hard hit. Yeah. I mean, look how it just fold. This is a, this is a tough bed. This is a really tough bed. And it just, it folded up the back of the bed too. Wrinkled it. I mean, you can see the ripples all down the diamond plating. But you know what? the bed was tougher than the frame is <laughs> it it just it just it just folded the frame right here man you can see the the bed has gone straight into well the passenger area back here it's straight into the cab man back window shut look at this I, yeah come on now not right now look how it folded wow That is a, it does have some nice seats. And this is, these are work grade seats. So they're leather, but it must be a tougher. It's a heavier leather. Yeah, a tougher material there. I don't know what this is for. That's for uh, your uh, bell spikes. That's for your bell oh, spikes. Oh, for hay. Yeah. Okay. Now this is a farmer's truck. 
but what gets me is, I mean, that bed had hardly been used. I wonder how many miles it's got on it. Did it say? I guarantee it. It, it can't have that many. Oh, this came from insurance auto auctions. Huh, interesting. Yeah, I don't see the miles up there either. It may not come to life, or it may not have keys. No key? No, it's got a key, but it ain't cause nothing's happening. Yeah. Man. That's a shame right there. Well, hopefully anybody and everybody that was inside of it walked away all right. Because, I mean, I guarantee you didn't walk away without hurting on this oh, one. No. No, uh, no. That was a hell of an impact. That's one you're going to be feeling for a while. But I, I, I'm kind of wondering, Randy, that driver's seat's not bent at all. I wonder if anybody was inside it. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, they may have had it parked. They could have been on the side of the road or they could have, uh, who knows, man. Mm. I hope nobody was inside of it. I do. I hope nobody was inside because especially in that back seat, man. Well, anyway, the battery overheated or whatever on the GoPro as usual, and it's not even hot yet today. So we're off to a great start. I'm going to get out of here. Big shout out and thank you to Santa's Workshop over here for coming out and hanging out with us during these videos. Go check out his channel. Link down below. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Auto Auction Rebuild. Subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. Stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.